Hi, a very good morning to all of you. I am Nahid and I head the Department of Admissions at Bits Pilani, Dubai. And on behalf of all my colleagues, I extend a very, very warm welcome to all of you to this webinar. We are connected live from the international campus of Bits Pilani in Dubai. I'm happy to have you all here today. Uh, and I would like to introduce my colleagues. We have Dr. Anand Kumar. He is HOD for Electrical and Electronics Engineering, and he's a senior professor. We have Dr. Tripti Gokhale from the Department of Biotechnology. We have Dr. Santosh Kumar from the Department of Computer Science. Dr. Eldos from Department of Chemical Engineering. Dr. Priyank Upadhyay from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. On behalf of all of us, we extend a very warm welcome to all of you. Today, you're here to meet and interact with all our faculty here, and you could get to clarify all your course-related queries. So I would like to request Dr. Anand to give you a brief presentation on the programs, after which we are open to an interaction. So you could ask whatever doubts, whatever queries you have, and we will sort them out for you. So let's begin with a small presentation from Dr. Anand on different disciplines offered at Bitspilani Dubai. Thank you, Nahid. And uh, once again, a warm welcome to the webinar. We'll be getting going in a minute or two. So we'll talk a little bit about the careers in engineering today. And uh, what is engineering is a question that might be in some of your minds. Uh, it includes design, manufacturing, R&D, management, uh, continual improvement, uh, and manufacturing, among others. Uh, there are some disruptive uh, technologies that uh, some of you would be familiar with, uh, which includes augmented reality, virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and additive manufacturing. Uh, the fourth industrial revolution includes automation and robotics primarily, and it includes other areas as well. Uh, 5G mobile network is part of the fourth uh, industrial revolution. It will change the way we work, live, and interact with people. And uh, there are autonomous cars, trains, planes, uh, which avoids uh, accidents in an autonomous way. Robotic surgery, IoT is also enabled in 5G mobile network. Um, to talk a little bit about uh, what is engineering, uh, biofuels, bioplastics, bioclothing, bio shampoo, shampoos, uh, gas from biorefineries. Uh, so there is a whole host of areas in the biotechnology area. Uh, you can also see some of these things you might, be, might have seen somewhere else, uh, ro robots and uh, you have the cars from, from race cars and then you have the renewable energy, which is all, uh, again, engineering. And you see that in, uh, engineering is often interdisciplinary. As you can see here, the, the grid, you have the refineries, and you get clean water also in your taps requires engineering. Uh, Burj Khalifa is a, land, a significant landmark, which many of you might be familiar with, which is significant uh, engineering. Uh, computer science applications includes, uh, you must, most of you probably download music, uh, do shop online shopping and use smartphones, among other things. And weather and tsunami prediction is also in, is one of the computer science applications. Uh, there are a number of benefits of taking an engineering career, uh, all the way from creativity, discovery, respect, prestige, financial security, and all the way up to job satisfaction. Uh, there are 30 plus laboratories at Bitspilani Dubai campus and labo uh, laboratories are the hallmark of any university because it brings in the practical element uh, to add uh, to complement and supplement the theory you learn in the class. Uh, students are also often part of engineering and professional societies, which includes the Association for Computing Missionary, the Computer Science Students, uh, American Society of Civil Engineers, and uh, also you have the uh, Association for Advancement of Adva Artificial Intelligence, IEEE for the electronic students, uh, and ACM is another 
uh, uh, for association for computing machineries for computer science students. Uh, what do engineering students do other than study textbooks? And that can be a question mark. You might think that uh, university education is all about textbooks, but they do a lot more outside the classroom uh, over and beyond their textbooks. Um, they, are, they have also developed uh, drones uh, in, the, uh, in the college and they have, they have participated in competitions. And as we saw in the previous slide, they have participated in developing uh, vehicles, race vehicles and all-terrain vehicles. And, um, and you can see that uh, students uh, have achieved the first place in ninth programming context, which is, over, which is not taught in the classrooms. Uh, they have also taken the first and third place at Al Hackathon. Uh, and you can see here that they have participated in the Google Developer Contest as, and won a cash prize of 25,000. Uh, and in addition, they also participate in invited talks, conferences, competitions. Students are actively involved in many aspects and, uh, of life in Bitspilani Dubai campus. Um, they, they, have go, they go for industrial visits, cultural activities. There, there's a freshers welcome for the new incoming students and the convocation farewell for the outgoing students. Uh, the Solar Decathlon is a major uh, participation from our students, from mechanical, chemical, uh, electronic students, and even and they have participated. This is an international competition organized by the Department of Energy in the U.S. and uh, they build uh, uh, efficient, energy efficient houses, which have to be actually you have to prototype it and build real houses. And they, the team uh, from Bitspilani, along with those from the Romanian universities, they stood forth in the world. Uh, this is the Solar Decathlon team, it includes a lot of Romanian participants as well as those from Bitspilani to my campus. Uh, they have also uh, completed, students have actively participated and completed uh, Expo Live projects along with uh, faculty mentors. Uh, uh, there, are, uh, there are four projects as you can see on the board and uh, they're all practical solutions to real life problems and they, each of them had an award of 25,000 dirhams. And um, here there, there has been some projects granted, Expo Life projects granted for the uh, upcoming year, and they have already started work on it. And there are three such projects uh, of 50,000 dirhams each. And uh, engineering and rankings are important, and ratings are important part of any university, and they reflect on the university's uh, performance as well as quality of the graduates and you have uh, in uh, Bitspilani has taken top ranks in India today they are no noted by Outlook they are also times high ranked in the times higher education and QS rankings as well um, the internships is a very integral part of Bitspilani Dubai Bitspilani as a whole and Bitspilani Dubai campus in particular uh, they have uh, what we call as practice school. We have tie-ups with over 300 companies. Students spend seven and, a half, seven and a half months out of their four years of study at the company. Two, month, two months is during the summer after the second year, and they have five and a half months in the final year, one of the semesters, and in fact, more than a semester, and they've spent time in uh, top-notch companies like Honeywell, LNT, Bosch, Siemens, um, Lucy Switchgear, Emerson, among other companies. Um, they also, so the alternative to uh, doing practice school or internship is uh, the engineering, uh, doing research if their students desire to go for a master's and they often do that, uh, some, some of them do that and you have an off-campus thesis option as well where they have done it in places like Semiconductor Lab in India, uh, in Aachen University, MIT US, TIFR in Mumbai, IIT, various IITs as well as University of Freiburg in Germany. And um, they, you can see the our uh, placements uh, are in strong companies, well-known companies, international companies, and including Schlumber, J. Bosch, Atkins, Daikin, Panasonic, Infosys, LNT, among others. Uh, they also, many of us, to a significant number of a percentage of our students go for higher education abroad, including to they've gone in the past to uh, University of Cambridge, Carnegie Mellon, Harvard. Imperial College in London, University of Toronto, NYU, among others. And uh, 
our engineering graduate students do graduate and we celebrate with great fanfare. And there, there are many, many streams that in engineering and some of which we offer at Bitspilan in Dubai campus, which includes bio, we offer biotechnology, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, electrical electronics engineering, electronics and uh, communication and mechanical engineering. And uh, the biotechnology programs includes a bachelor's in biotechnology and a PhD program as well. And uh, the biotechnology is very interdisciplinary in nature. They do, it, it involves uh, instrumentation, energy, physics, chemistry, chemical engineering, electronics, and mechanical engineering. Uh, biotechnology subjects include molecular biology of the cell, biomolecular bio model, modeling, drug design and delivery, environmental biotechnology, genetics, among others. Uh, the future prospects, uh, you can solve societal problems or alternative uh, drug therapy, genetically engineered, engineered uh, vaccines, control of emerging uh, diseases, among others. And uh, research in biotechnology is in, has been in agriculture, environmental, microalgal, and animal technology. And uh, the chemical engineering programs, again, has a bachelor's program as well as a PhD program. Uh, what will it, uh, you study in chemical engineering? Uh, include the core chemical engineering courses include thermodynamics, process calculations, heat transfer, reactor design, among others. And they also uh, use their extensively software tools, including Aspen, ANSYS, AutoCAD, among others. Uh, the chemical engineering student and faculty have achieved have significant achievements. They have three ongoing industry-sponsored research projects. Uh, they took uh, runner-up places in competitions, and they have been finalists in the Health Prize, among others. Uh, they are chemical engineers work in petroleum refining and petrochemicals and chemical process industries. Uh, they also go to pharmaceutical industries and food industries. And uh, they are, some, of them, some of them work really in matter in uh, companies which deal with uh, cement, ceramic, glass, and textiles, among others, uh, and waste management as well. Uh, the civil engineering programs again is a, there's a bachelor's program and a PhD program, and uh, the major disciplines include uh, structural, transportation, water resources, construction management, environmental engineering, and geotechnical engineering. And the civil engineering subjects include structural engineering areas, uh, geotechnical engineering, water resources engineering, environmental among others. Uh, the Future prospects of civil engineering include uh, urban planning, geoinformatics, tunnel engineering, among others. Uh, some of the many job profiles of, uh, of, uh, available for civil engineering graduates include design engineer, uh, site engineer, environmental consultant, among others. Uh, you can uh, this probably is a job progression for all fields, but more so for uh, civil and construction engineers. Uh, it, you can start, uh, you, can, you can be in construction, you can be in consulting, uh, in government jobs or industry jobs. Uh, there are B, uh, uh, ME and PhD programs in computer science. Uh, the subjects include data structures and algorithms, compilers, computer networks, web services, cloud computing, among others. Uh, the, the jobs that are possible for a computer science graduate include software development, software designing, database management, among others. And, and there is the, the electrical electronics pro engineering program department. You have BE in electrical electronics, BE in electronics and communication, ME and PhD as well. Uh, the subjects include analog and digital electronic to circuit design, electrical machines, microcomputer applications, among others. Uh, the recent trends in this area include power engineering, drives, energy economy, instrumentation and process control, among others. Um, our uh, second year student won the James Dyson Award in 2018, and uh, which celebrates design. Uh, and there are three programs in mechanical engineering, BE, ME, and PhD. And uh, the mechanical engineering, uh, there's a curriculum overview, Include, which includes subjects in uh, design, manufacturing, and automation, material science, thermal, fluid, industrial. 
the subjects include a, subjects in uh, machine design, manufacturing, and robotics and automation. Uh, the, uh, the also it includes subjects in thermal science and fluid flow. Uh, there are future prospects for mechanical engineers in mechatronics, business management, aerospace engineering, renewable energy, among others. And uh, mechanical engineering students have achieved uh, victories in uh, through three, Team Tripit, uh, Team Auto Chain, and Navifly, which are startup companies. Uh, mechanical engineering jobs uh, are found in petroleum construction, energy, and design, among others. So uh, we hope to see you all in August. Thank you so much for your attention. Hi, most of you would have already submitted your applications, already got admissions. Um, now we would be interacting with all the faculty. So whatever questions you have related to whichever department, kindly address it to the faculty of your choice and we'll be happy to answer them for you. So let the questions come in now. You can type your questions, please. Kindly type your questions. Yes, good morning, Ryan. So there's a question from, this is a question from, sorry. Akhar, there's a question from you. You, you need to know the difference between robotics and mechatronics. I'll so take, could we uh, have? I'll take two. I'll take two answers to that, and then I'll ask my mechanical engineering colleague to answer. Robotics include mechatronics is could be predominantly mechanical and electronics, but robotics would include mechanical electronics as well as computer science, a significant amount of significant computer science. Yes, uh, as, uh, be a little louder. as as Dr. Anand uh, said, uh, robotics will include, of course, some part of uh, computer science also. But in terms of application side, uh, mechatronics, as the word suggests, we are looking at more of, uh, let's say, machines that can produce something for you. But in robotics, they, it could be more on the application side, which where we will have uh, uh, many things which we use in the daily life. So mechatronics is going more on the industrial side, but uh, robotics will be more on the APM side, which is for our use. Ryan is asking what preparations need to be done for students who have not taken CS in 11th and 12th before joining the college. Dr. Santosh, if you could answer that. Any preparations? Yeah, hello, Ryan. Uh, so as far as you are concerned, you don't have to really, uh, don't have to worry anything about whether you have done computer science in 11th and 12th, because we start from the basics. So in the first year, you have got it. Uh, programming course which is uh, more oriented uh, with CSE programming language. So this is the start of from the fundamentals and therefore you know you don't have to have any uh, you know apprehension or worry about whether you've taken computer science in 11th and 12th or not. So you are going to be uh, you know uh, uh, comfortable with the courses you are going to do here and many people have been doing well after coming here. Thank you. When the practice school starts where will you uh, the practice school is, uh, there are two sessions. One is, um, it is in the, after the second year, in the summer, you do eight weeks uh, duration practice school, which has five credits to it. It's a very structured program, as well as in the final year, the fourth year, you have a practice school, either in the first semester or second semester, but it's a little longer than a normal semester. It's five and a half months of duration, where you actually work on live projects in the company. Uh, your assign, your, your the selection or allotment is based on your background. If you're a chemical engineering student, you go to a company which is related to chemical engineering, or if you're in mechanical engineering, you go to a company which is related to mechanical engineering, and you're working on projects related to your field. Uh, whereas the second, what you do at the end of the second year is more of an exposure to the industry, and you are just, you get to know what are the departments in a company and what the discipline of going to a company, how does a company operate, how does it function, how does it work. Uh, the second uh, practice school, five and a half months long, is worth 20 credits. Thank you. 
want to know about artificial intelligence and machine learning. Yeah. So, what is the difference between a uh, 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 connection between artificial intelligence and machine learning? So, it's actually a good question. So, uh, machine learning is actually a, a lot, uh, looks at things from a larger perspective. Okay, so it, it actually tells you like how a computer can can be as intelligent as a human being. So, to that extent, AI is also uh, you know looking at similar aspects, but the techniques used are different. So, in, in AI, like, you know, you talked about techniques which will allow you to uh, you know interpret human language. Right, and but then in machine learning it is much more general. So this is also a part of machine learning. For example, you've got data mining. Like for example, uh, whether uh, a credit card can be issued uh, to a particular person. So that is actually not an, uh, typically treated as an AI uh, application. So it's mainly from the application perspective the difference is. Uh, so machine learning is actually an, uh, uh, a larger, uh, you know, it encompasses a larger uh, uh, scope. So yeah, so that's essentially what the uh, connection between uh, you know, AI and machine learning is. Okay, uh, is it possible for a student who has filled the application form after 20th June to get admissions? Yes, we have some seats available, a few seats available in certain disciplines. So if you are interested and you have not filled up the application as yet, please mark at least three preferences mm -hmm. because seats are filled up in a certain disciplines. So kindly mark three preferences and send it. So based on the availability, you will be allotted a discipline. Priya wants to know curriculum details of electronics and communication, not yet data education. Uh, what are the, the curriculum? Uh, you would have you would have courses in electronics. Uh, it would include, as we talked about it earlier in the presentation, electronics. Uh, you would have uh, that some of the you would have communication systems which would be specific to communication. You would also have information theory and coding, communication networks, uh, analog, and so these are some of the, you'd have the electronic subjects as well as you'd have communication subjects. Kritika wants to know what other certifications you should have as a graduate to stand apart from other graduates and how to prepare for it. It would, uh, the certifications can be wide, uh, wide uh, and uh, if you're talking about particularly in computer science, you can you can, uh, while you're doing your undergraduate study, you can do something like CCNA, CCNP, and so on and so forth. You can, or you can do Microsoft certifications, which are not necessarily offered, particularly at the Pitts Planning the Boy campus, but you can do them independently by registering with the agency outside. Should I choose Pitts Planning or Pitts Planning to buy it? Mudit, uh, Bitspilani admissions are already over. In fact, the fourth iteration was done, uh, I think, yesterday or just two, three days back. So you must have got admission into, if you have already scored a good BITSAT score, then you must have already got admission into Bitspilani. And just in case you have not got admission there, uh, you are free to join Bitspilani Dubai because our admissions are based on your 12th grade aggregate and not on your BITSAT score. Could not see the topics covered in ECE due to internet issue. Pardon, you could not see? Topics covered under ECE. Uh, Pulkit, we will have those uh, course titles sent to you through email. Uh, I think we have Pulkit's email recorded in our database. So we will have the course list sent to you over email, Pulkit. You will get it within an hour. Would I need to sign up for classes or would I be assigned a schedule? Yeah, let me just answer that. Uh, the you 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 will have a set of courses that you have to take in each semester, and but then you would get an opportunity. The timetabling is done by you. You would have multiple sections for various courses. We call or you may call it subjects, but we call it courses. So you'll have uh, for each course there may be uh, one. Uh, five sections or six sections or eight sections and if for the lab and for the theory. So you get to mix and match the various faculty uh, and uh, different sections for different courses. And you actually build your timetable on your own. But we'll be there, of course, to assist you in the process. What are the electives you can select in CS? <coughs> Rohit Reddy. Yeah, so uh, as far as uh, the electives you have in computer science are, you know, a wide, wide range, a range of electives are there. So one of them are very specific to computer science, like AI, uh, you know, data mining, and then you've got cloud computing, uh, then you've got uh, net, network, uh, network security, 
right? So those kind of uh, also you are also welcome to take interdisciplinary uh, electives like you know, um, you know uh, the the one which is uh, having um, uh, yeah network and then uh, uh, security. Yeah, security and then uh, uh, the renewable energy kind of uh, you know, secure. Uh, this one also you will be able to take. Okay. Does MSAT play a role in the admission process? Yeah. Uh, Ryan, MSAT, no, we don't consider the MSAT scores for admission. By the way, there is, uh, just let me add uh, one comment to the electives in computer science. Just add a little bit additional thing to it, to what Dr. Santor said. One is that you have three categories of electives with Bits Pilani. One is called the humanities electives, which you get to do three of them. Then you have discipline specific electives. Uh, which would be maybe related to your computer science uh, area. Then you have open electives, which is what you can do a lot of other subjects, either related to your discipline or it could be in general as well. Which is the future of artificial intelligence and what kind of a, a job a computer science engineer can get? So artificial intelligence, as you can see, has, has taken a lot of uh, you know, uh, importance in the current. Uh, this one, like you know, with the, with this Google uh, coming up with uh, different types of uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, mechanisms and uh, uh, you know, algorithms for performing this artificial intelligence. So therefore, mainly like you know, we can use this artificial intelligence for computer vision uh, related uh, you know applications. That's one of the main areas where it is actually being used. Uh, plus, there are other uh, you know areas like you know, you'll be able to predict uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the climate weather. Okay, so there are a lot of applications where this uh, artificial intelligence is being used. So it's mainly trying to make uh, the computer work like a you know, human being, you know, give, empower the uh, machine with the intelligence uh, and behavior like a uh, human being. So there are a lot of techniques which are being used, and it is upcoming field, and uh, it's got a lot of applications in, in that uh, thing like what we mentioned. Certainly, yes, Mudit. The most notable feature about this campus is not only its quality education, which matches in rigor and pedagogy to our um, Indian parent campus, Pilabit Spilani, but also the strategic location of Dubai, which gives an extra edge to all our graduates and also gives that most required international exposure. Uh, our students get to intern in leading multinationals here within the four years and they get that much needed international exposure because there are more than 40 universities within this education hub called Dubai International Academic City. There are leading multinational companies located in Dubai and neighboring cities. So this definitely gives an edge for our graduates over their Indian counterparts. Uh, anything else my colleagues would like to add on this? Yeah, I think the, uh, in, the interface to the uh, the other cultures and uh, the nationalities comes through the internships where we, you work in multinational companies, but also you'll find that as uh, Nahid uh, just elaborated a little bit more on that, when students participate in extracurricular activities and that happens across universities and there are universities which have variety of nationalities and even in Bitspilani we have a certain small percentage of international students. In fact, Dubai is a very cosmopolitan city, just in case you have not visited this country earlier. Uh, we have more than 200 nationalities coexisting, surviving here in Dubai, and it's a very interesting uh, city to live in with very modern infrastructure. And uh, the benefit you get by studying at Bitspilani is you get to live on the campus. We have almost close to 1,000 independent single occupancy air-conditioned furnished rooms on the campus, so you get to stay on, stay and study on the campus. Do all the students get single room accommodation? Yes, we only have single rooms available, though they are small rooms, just about 8 by 10 size, but gives you all the privacy because we have just single room occupancy rooms here. What kind of a job does a computer science engineer get who has a specialization in AI? Yeah, so like uh, one thing I forgot to add or like which can be added here is like you know the uh, combination of uh, robotics plus uh, uh, you know AI. So uh, for robot is actually a mechanical device, but then for the robot to actually make intelligent decisions, you have the uh, AI algorithms working. Like you know you can have it, you can uh, take, take a Rubik's cube and get, get a robot to solve it. Okay, so how does it do that? It actually uh, looks at the, uh, you know, you use the cameras to understand the, the way in which the cubes are being placed. 
and then you have the uh, you know the automate the the manipulation being done. So that's just an you know toy game. But then you know the applications include like you know the one which we mentioned about the uh, the, uh, the computer vision is one particular thing which is uh, really helpful. So there are a lot of applications like again uh, you know you go to for for uh, forensics. Like you know, you have the computer uh, uh, you know, vision algorithm trying to recognize whether and uh, uh, whether and uh, uh, convict is actually in uh, the, the correct person or not. Right. So there are a lot of applications uh, where uh, you know this computer vision and uh, a uh, together can be uh, used. Uh, some of the examples which we just now mentioned, you know, this can add to. Uh, these See, at the numbers. broader level, you find that one of the things that you find common in artificial intelligence is that. UAE, for example, has made AI as a national agenda item, and that is happening in many other places as well. So you'll find that AI is coming into building cars, into building all kinds of equipment. The uh, AI is coming as a major, it, is, you, it has diverse applications into many different engineering fields. And just to add, like you know, this uh, uh, you know, here for the automatic car, uh, which is uh, automatic driver assisted car, uh, which is done by Google. So that you know, it's able to drive its way along the uh, uh, you know road uh, in a driverless mode. So all that is uh, typically the application of AI uh, plus the hardware and uh, you know software associated with it, which is able to uh, you know uh, do this particular uh, thing. Mutil wants to know is it possible with Ritzkanan in Dubai? He wants to take the innovation and technology of developed countries to India. Is it possible with Ritzkanan in Dubai? He wants to take the innovation and technology of developed countries to India. Is that possible with Ritzkanan in Dubai? Dr. Priya, would you like to add something to this? I think uh, the thing is that, see, uh, is uh, Dubai is like a nodal point, and uh, for and you would probably get opportunities to uh, interface eastward towards India and Asia, and you interface uh, westward towards Europe and US. So it, you will get plenty of opportunities during your coursework and during the extracurricular activities and extra academic activities as well. Students do a lot like we saw the drones that they build, the formula car technology that you build. So there you and, and you also we also talked a little bit about in the presentation, the solar decathlon where we Bitspila and Dubai campus worked alongside with uh, uh, Romanian universities uh, to bring in the uh, technology, advanced technology in new technologies for building up. A house, a, a building a house. So you'll get opportunities like that to bring in new technologies from various parts of the world, and then you would be able to down the road, if after you graduate, you may want to start up something in India. You will get, I'm sure you'll get plenty of opportunities for that. Any more questions? Mudil has been offered B computer science. How much B I have to pay to secure my admissions? And for some reason, if I withdraw, what will be the refund policy? Mudil, if you've already received an offer of admission, uh, kindly check the attachment given there. The fee structure and the documents are mentioned there. What you need to uh, do before you start your um, classes, the fee structure, the fee is mentioned there, and so also the documents you need to submit. If you have any doubts, we will be able to clarify it over an email or a phone call. And as far as refund policy is concerned, uh, it's a very well-defined refund policy, which is available in our admission bulletin, uh, wherein we, you get refunded 80% of the tuition fee paid uh, if you withdraw before the commencement of the program. What kind of projects do we need to focus on our course in computer science with the car? Yeah, so uh, as far as the, uh, you know, the projects are concerned, we have got again uh, different types of, so we can actually look at some hardware related uh, you know, projects, we can look at software related projects. So in software related projects itself, you, know, you have got different categories, you can have, you know, can develop web based applications. Right, so therefore, you know, which is again, uh, very, uh, you know, sought after, uh, uh, you know, skill set in the industry. Correct. So because many things are going out are getting automated and everything is being available over the web. Right. So therefore, you know, you have to have the skill set 
to know how the databases work on the backend, and then the on the foreground of the uh, the front applications like you know, JavaScript and things like that. So all that is a part of the uh, uh, of, of the projects which you will be able to do. And then again, look, we have got a new uh, computer system which is uh, having two uh, you know. Um, now the Nvidia graphics card, and you know, which is uh, you know the Dell-based system, so on which you can actually do these AI applications. Okay, so if you have got, so there is about 32 GB of uh, uh, RAM, and then you know you'll be able to do uh, AI uh, you know, enabled applications, which is which can be done much faster using these Nvidia graphics cards. So you've got a wide range of uh, you know a project scope which is available, and you can also do projects in cloud computing because that's also an upcoming phase. So we also have a Cisco network uh, lab on which you know you'll be able to you know try your uh, actual networking skills, like you know how you configure the networks. You know you can do some experiments with it. So then you also have what is called as NetSafe. So that's an uh, you know a, an, uh, an application or a software from on which you will be able to run these network uh, you know simulations. And so we've got a scope for wide range of uh, projects, you know, from hardware to all kinds of software, uh, which is being, uh, you know, offered in the industry. How many Indian students are there in campus? Who is the class? Uh, it, more than 95% of our student population are Indians by nationality. But if you're asking me how many Indians are there to accompany you to Bitspilani, Dubai this year, from the first year, there'll be more than 130 students currently who are, who are coming from India to study here. So if we know from which uh, part of India you're from, from which city of India, we could also share the contact numbers of those students from your city so that you could meet them before you come here and make your bookings accordingly with them. Manda, tell us about machine learning. Yeah, so machine learning, as I said, like, you know, it is an, uh, a way of uh, a, a machines trying to learn something. For example, if for a kid, if you actually show a, a, kind, a figure which is resembling one, which is, you know, different in, a, in different ways, uh, after some time, even if you show, show a figure which is looking like one, right, this kid will be able to tell, right? So that kind of intelligence, how do you program and computer system for doing that? So therefore, there are different algorithms which will enable. So there are which is ranging from statistical methods, like you've got neural networks. So that's a mechanism for training the uh, you know the neurons, and then it will able to it will be able to recognize the uh, the different uh, you know, patterns, right? So uh, that, that's uh, and the, the other thing about machine learning is like you know you will be able to do predictions. So the predictions include like you know uh, based on the current uh, you know statistics, uh, whether you'll be able to uh, you know say that. Uh, you know, a particular outcome can be uh, can be uh, you know what is the what is the probability of a particular disease, right? So based on the symptoms. So this is excellent, trying to not exactly replace doctor, but it is trying to aid the doctor in trying to you know easily figure out what could the disease be based on the so-called symptoms. So the, that how that is being done is that you know, take the data from the previous patients and then you train the uh, system. So when you train the system, it understands that for these, these combinations of, uh, uh, of inputs, this could be the probable disease. So this is just an example. The same thing can be applied for different uh, you know, applications. Right? So th that's one of the uh, things about them. Uh, so as you said, again, AI and machine learning, there are a lot of cross-cutting or uh, you know, a lot of uh, you know, um, areas which are, you know, uh, uh, are, are similar. Right? So AI has been in the, uh, in, 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 in the computer science from quite some time back. Right. So there was, there was an application called as MySafe, right? So that is probably from 1970s. So that's again trying to predict what, what is the kind of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, disease or the medicine that can be given to a patient based on the, uh, you know, the symptoms, right? So this is all again, A has again taken a lot uh, a leap now, especially because of this powerful hardware and it's able to process these image uh, applications in a much faster way. Earlier that was not possible because the hardware was not, uh, you know, that, that uh, you know, Powerful. So that is what is. That's why suddenly AI is again, you know, uh, you know, coming to prominence again. And uh, like you know, this uh, driverless vehicles, etc. It is able to detect that okay, there is a you know a hump, and then it is able to break the you know vehicle. And then it is able to detect that there is a you know a man coming, and therefore it is able to break the vehicle. All that is possible. It, it, it was possible earlier also, but then the hardware was not that you know powerful. So therefore, in order to quickly take the feedback and then make a decision, it was not possible earlier. But with the help of this hardware, you know, it has uh, you know come up earlier. I mean, uh, you know, it is uh, taking a prominence, and that's being you know used used in multiple uh, fields. Right. So these are some of the basic applications, like in play, whether you are playing chess. 
when you're playing the Go game. So that's also an uh, application which is uh, developed by Google, and it's, it's able to, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, overcome the uh, the fastest uh, um, uh, player, uh, uh, the Go Go player of, of the world. Right. So these are all uh, happening uh, through the AI technologies. So there are different algorithms which will actually help you to do it, and it is also covered a part of our course. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. Before we move on with the next question, I would uh, for those of you who have joined in late, because I can see some new attendees here who are coming in. For those of you who have joined in late, I would like to tell you that we have professors from different departments available in this webinar today. We have Dr. Priyank Upadhyay from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. We have Dr. Eldozai from Department of Chemical Engineering. We have Dr. Anand Kumar from Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Dr. Trupti Gokhale from Department of Biotechnology. And Dr. Santosh Kumar from Department of Computer Science. So if you have any questions related to any of these disciplines, please feel free to ask. So I am Nahid, I'm heading the Department of Admissions. Now coming to your next question, what would be the mode of teaching? Uh, is it English or Arabic? Oh, it's definitely English. We are a branch campus of Witzfilani and our medium of instruction is English only. Will there be BHDL coding in ECE? Yes, uh, you will be doing some of these um, techniques. You'll be applying uh, BHDL coding in some of the courses like uh, related to uh, analog and uh, VLSI design, you will be doing some co coding in VHTM. Uh, what is exactly Internet of Things? I also don't know. IoT. IoT. Uh, what is IoT? So IoT is a very broad based thing. It is, uh, it basically, uh, uh, it is connecting up the machines with, uh, with, the hardware, the software, and let's say that you you can simply in simple sense that let's say that you want to be able to communicate your voice signals over the power line. That would be one of the aspects of IoT. But you can have IoT in a wide variety of things, and uh, it includes, for example, automating the switching on of lights or uh, curtain opening and closing in your house to wide home automation is another area of IoT among other things. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, like Dr. Brand said, like, you know, this is uh, trying to get the things. So, for example, we want to read the temperature, right? So, we want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, access or uh, measure the different parameters. So, all those can be done, uh, you know, sitting at our home. So, you have a field that, you know, you, have, you want to monitor the different you know, parameters of the field. So, you don't have to really go there and do it. Like, the whole thing can be, uh, you know, uh, uh, can be sent over the uh, you know uh, internet and then sitting at the convenience of the office you know you'll be able to monitor the parameters take necessary corrective action so is this so the whole thing is that you know it is becoming more and more and more interoperable so you have got different protocols which will allow these things to be done so therefore you know, earlier the whole thing has to be made from one particular uh, you know, company so now you know you have got uh, you know you can buy device from different companies and then connect them together and get the thing working right so that is because of the interoperable nature of the protocols which has emerged uh, in this you know in, uh, in the uh, context of internet of things so that's essentially what uh, is there you can see right here about um, uh, this thunderbolt that like you know is able to get the entire uh, you know uh, information about the different uh, aspects of the karnataka of in the uh, the the uh, other state uh, sitting in his uh, board office right so that's a very good example of this internet of things which is there are there any financial needs available uh, Mudit, we offer several scholarships and most of them are merit based. Uh, so if you have any, uh, if you have an aggregate of over 80% in the grade 12, you could get scholarships ranging from 15% to 40% based on your aggregate. Uh, plus we have some scholarships based on your BITSAT score as well. So if you've scored anything above 200 in your BITSAT, then uh, you can avail scholarships there as well. You can combine two scholarship, scholarships uh, in a semester provided they don't exceed 50% of the uh, tuition fee. So we would have mentioned in your offer letter what exactly you're eligible for. But oh, even after the first year, you can continue getting scholarship in second, third, fourth, and subsequent semesters, uh, provided you maintain a CGPA of nine on a scale of 10. 
Uh, we also have student loan facility from leading banks in India. So we have a tie up with the uh, SBI, State Bank of India, as well as HDFC Credila. So if you're looking for education loans, uh, you please feel free to call them. We have already sent you a mail with regard to that. In case you have not received it, please do let us know and uh, we will have a mail sent to you with regard to the education loan facility also. Repayment of the education loan starts after you graduate. So it's very, very convenient. Are there any more questions from anyone? If you have any doubts after we finish this webinar, after we close the webinar, please feel free to email us. Our email ID is admission at dubai.bits-pilani.ac.in. I repeat, admission at Dubai. It's being typed there. You can make a note of it. Admission at dubai.bits hyphen pilani dot ac dot in so if you have any questions feel free to send on this mail and we'll be happy to answer them for you We thank you very much for your participation today in this webinar. I also thank all my colleagues who took time off to be present here today uh, and hope to see you all very soon. Thank you and good luck. Bye.